with post-World War II Soviet aircraft being able to fly higher and faster than ever before, most ground-based anti-aircraft guns became ineffective. To adapt to this, the British sought to increase the effective ceiling and fire rate of AA guns with projects such as Green Mace, starting in the late 1940s. This project investigated the feasibility of high-explosive fin-stabilized discarding Sabo projectiles fired from autoloader-equipped smoothbore cannons. These projectiles were able to achieve a higher flight ceiling than their full-caliber counterparts, due to their increased muzzle velocity and lower drag. Another part of these projects was to investigate how FSDS projectiles should be mounted in their casings, which resulted in a 17-pounder being adapted for testing. As this was to focus on the reliability of the projectile's assembly, inert FSDS projectiles were used, featuring a steel body. For the sake of the simulation, the body has been modeled as high-quality projectile steel, with an estimated muzzle velocity.